this section and in the next two sections, we will look at some further methods for solving classification problems. We will look at the maximal margin classifier, the support vector classifier, and the support vector machine. We will focus on the case of two classes labeled 1 and negative 1. Suppose x1, y1 through xn, yn are our training data points. Each xi is a p-dimensional vector xi1 through xip and y sub i lies in the set containing negative 1 and 1. So the y's are either 1 or negative 1. For instance, if p equals to 2, the xi are points in the two-dimensional plane. If we plot the points xi, we might have something like this. Okay, the circles indicate class 1 and the, the x's indicate class negative 1. In this example, the points appear to be separable by a line. So may, maybe something like this. If the xi's are separable like this by a line when p equals to 2, or by a hyperplane more generally, then we can use such a line to separate the two classes and classify any new point depending on which side of the line the point falls on. The maximal margin classifier is used in this case. If the xi's can't be separated by a line or hyperplane, we can still try to separate the two classes with a line or hyperplane using the support vector classifier. Finally, if we want a nonlinear decision boundary separating the two classes, we can use the support vector machine.